that there's um, a lot of different scenarios with that that's going on, and there's lots of different things happening. So you, we could talk for ages on that particular subject. But should we go on to my next game, um, which next? will be... Hey? You go next. I go next, should I? Well, it was Louise last time, wasn't it? Yeah, it was... mix it up. Mix it yeah, let's mix it up. Let's, let's throw a spanner in the works. Let's go crazy. <laughs> yes, let's go crazy. Oh, go yeah. on then. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, let's go through some of them. They are not my best, but I need to give a small mention because they need to I, Are these honourable mentions then, yeah? Honourable mentions, these are. Obviously, horrible mentions. Are they horrible, horrible mentions? mentions. Horrible, 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 horrible mention, yeah. horrible mention. Um, I'm going to mention House of the Dead on the Sega Saturn, which for... I'd have said Dreamcast, I'd have said Dreamcast, but Saturn will do fine. Well, uh, the Dreamcast later on will happen. This is games on the Sega Saturn that are still close to me, my heart, basically. Yeah, that's so, fine. This obviously, you, had, you did get with a gun, it was a box, so you didn't have that have a case you get it with a big box and everything i was blown away by the arcade conversion they did what they did for this it was very cool it was a very smart little game and i'm glad to say they did a lot of their um coin ups or arcade conversions to that system because some of them still are awesome today and uh, you cannot for the time, I think they did really well to convert that because there were a lot of limitations with the system. Oh, definitely. Especially but, cause on some of the games, they would only run with the uh, the video yeah. card in the back. Yeah. Yeah. You had the little cartridges you used to put on the top, didn't you, as well? Like mm. a cartridge to make it better. Yeah, there were, lot, there were some that were quite limited. They wouldn't run without it. You had to spend, I think it was like, about £99. Yeah, it wasn't cheap. It wasn't cheap. No. But as yeah. I say, it probably wasn't cheap now to buy something there. Uh, but that was this honourable mention, if I can say it correctly, um, mm -hmm. of that little beauty. There's many other games <clears throat> on the system, which I won't go into it, to make it nice and short. <sighs> Virtual Cop on the Sega Saturn is still one of my favourite games to play today. Besides One game games, that never part to the Dreamcast. I know, but it's it, not a Dreamcast. It, no, it was a fantastic game. You still, it was, it ran very fast. Um, you feel like you're still in the arcade machine. It, it had extra little bits in there. It, it moved. It's hard to explain my feelings for it, but you can play it now, as I have before. Play it up, and I still remember playing it and going. You know, like different things. It's an epic game at the time, and it's one yeah, of these. I still remember it like it was yesterday. Yes, and it's basically one is when I actually sort my hopefully new game room out or part of it. It will be on the screen. Yes. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely a awesome game. But obviously, we had loads of fans. I can't forget nights at the time with the brilliant controller and the Christmas nights. They are brilliant. But Virtual Cop. Uh, was, you see, Virtual Cop is still awesome. It's still not Virtual awesome. Cop. Go back. Go nights. back. Nights. Talk about nights. Oh. Nights. <laughs> nights had a cool little. The controller. The controller was amazing. The controller was very cool. That's where. The Dreamcast got it right because they, they, they copied, they basically modelled it off that. It was spot on. It's one of the best controllers ever made because I like uh, how the, the wire comes from the bottom. Yes. See, this is how, obviously, Sega does really well and how they do a game that not, may not be as good to some people now, especially in a mm -hmm. weak version. A lot of games don't work in conversions. But when you played it on the... And Saturn for the first time. God, yeah, the music, everything about it was good. Because it was just like flying around, it's free fun. It's just, you're just in another world. Sometimes you just play and go. Oh, but it depends thinking. what drugs you're on, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but it was a good little fun little game. This is quite cool. Smoking but, weed or your acid, you know. <laughs> 
But obviously, we, we have got Daytona USA, but this is another story that needs it a whole section on its own because Daytona USA was fantastic. It wasn't the greatest conversion, but it was Daytona. So it was cool. Just go uh, round and round and round. But how about the iconic music oh, now? <laughs> yeah. It's what, uh, sorry, Lee. What is what? That's what NASCAR's like. They just go round and around and around. Yeah. yeah don't get me boring because it's it was awesome. You had yeah, awesome it's an iconic it. game, but you never had enough time. You always no. run out of time. You ne You tell me anybody that's finished that game. That is the, uh, that's the beauty uh, of Sega. That's the beauty of it because they knew. Well, they had... got a point. He's got a point because Sega Rally is like that. I could never get oh. no level. Oh, I love Sega Rally. I love yeah, Sega I love Rally. It. I love it. Dreamcast. Oh, the Dreamcast version. D d yeah. This. I remember buying the Dreamcast version. I remember buying the Japanese version. That was the. I remember buying. That was the first game I bought. Uh, but obviously, Sega Rally was obviously on the Sat uh, Sega Saturn. Um, yeah. It was. It seems it was good. It was a cool one. It was. I enjoyed it, but I did enjoy it more on the other console. So, but that's me speaking about Sega Saturn. I try and keep it too short because obviously. People will probably go make a cup of tea this time and talk about one game. So, um, <laughs> would you like to say something, Louise, about one of your games, my love? Oh, I think mine will get some oohs and ahs. Uh, again, I like controversial, different, standalone games. And uh, what is on your head? <laughs> 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 I love the bow, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, <laughs> it probably fits into what I'm going to say. I really like, um, I know it comes from the arcade again, but I really like Crazy Taxi. Oh, um, uh, yeah, no. Uh, a great soundtrack. Um, you could really. Very good it. soundtrack. Great, it's a plug and play game. You just put it in. Great soundtrack, yeah. great fun. Yeah. Um, at times it's frustrating because you always run out of time, like you say, but that's a classic Sega thing, I think. Um, but the challenges and the, learning the crazy drift and the crazy hop and later on with crazy taxi too. I think the tired the I think the tired the franchise out though by the third one. Yeah, by the third one, no, no. But crazy taxi one, and maybe crazy taxi two, but crazy taxi one is definitely no, definitely number one is better. Number two, number one, sort of... yeah, no. You see, I'm agreeing with a lot of these titles. I am agreeing with a lot of them. <laughs> Which is good. So, I don't so see you don't agree. I'm not a biased person. I do like Sega. I never said I didn't. <laughs> no, you just got strong views. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's my favourite. Um, again, like Neil, I have other favourites like Sam Domingo, which you might wince at, Mark, but he's good fun to play. <sighs> Sam and Amigo is still we both love epic. That. Mr. Cave. Oh, yeah. that's you can't epic. Mess with that. the and it's another one of those games where if you have a few drinks or a few bits of whatever trips you. And you're doing really well. It kind of goes really psychedelic and crazy. Which oh no! Really and the, and there's a version of Take on Me that was like crazy. And when you see the monkey and all the people going crazy, it the whole now, game. It was my. Oh, you what you're saying is uh, somebody amigo. This, I mean, I, I can't stand Sony. I really hate Sony. But no. I am gonna my an honourable mention in here. Samba, you just said that, Samba de Amigo, Parappa the Rapper. Yes. Yeah, Parappa the Rapper is good too. And a very go. good, quirky game. Like you say, it's a plug and play. It's yeah. pick up. You just, it's just one of those quick play games. Basically, if you look at it, really, it's kind of, nick, I'm not saying nicking the ideas from Sa Sega. But no, no. It's the same sort of, same sort of, it's the same sort of setup, but if this yeah. have but Sega it's a button, it's a, uh, you know, the button basher, because obviously with the uh, maracas, you had to hit high, you know, up, down, left, right. Yeah. Same thing with the button, triangle, circle, square, cross. So. Yes. Uh, this is oh, so here fun. we go. What have we got here? What have we got? I'm trying to find the, the weird, um, the weird um, one time only. Um, things that used to come with games, yeah? And obviously, Sam D'Amiga had the Maracas, 
which was really cool, but so expensive to buy because obviously I don't think there was many in the UK, if any, with that I saw. Um, I know you can get them in the US and that uh, quite so, but obviously Dreamcast version fishing game, which they got same right again, was Thank the you. fishing. But you can't beat it. That was a no. brilliant game. But the it is a very good was, game. It's this is game. what what. Nintendo lack in is their useless um, only play one game kind of like imperials is it? What was the word you used for it? The peripheral. One... Peripheral. Thank you. Peripheral. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. yeah. See, uh, can I play out? I mean, that controller. It yeah. was only designed for fishing games, and that was it. But that's what it was good about. That's the same as same in Amigo. How many fishing games came out on the Dreamcast? Can you there justify you spending thirty pounds on a peripheral? Well, this this just is to the play whole that point. One game? No, but you if you wanted to play the fishing game, you wanted to get the same as the arcade, then you will find the experience. It. The experience. It's the same as Sam and Amigo. Yeah. Yes. The same with Sam and Amigo. <laughs> 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 um, as I say, I have loads of Donkey Kongs which I love. Which you can't, you might be able to see, but up there, loads of little Donkey Kongs which I love. These games, especially Donkey Kong Country, which I think is brilliant. On the Nintendo Switch kind of front, I think it might be very well. Obviously, it's going to have the new Sonic Mania, which it goes like saying how awesome that is. I have to say, it's it's got a good feel and a good look about it. I don't know. It's because, very nostalgic. It's it's gone back to the Mega Drive. Yes, but on a, but on a more you know modern standard. Yes. Um. I, I hopefully it will do well. And obviously Zelda. I the only game Zelda I really like, and it might not get a lot. I love, I love for this, but I like Zelda on the Super Nintendo. I'm not Good a big man. lover. Of Good man. Yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not really a lover of the other ones. I, it's, it doesn't really. No, I have to say, me. I have to say, I agree. The uh, link, uh, oh, links link, awakening. Oh, is it links awakening or link, uh, link yeah, to the link past? Links to the past. Links to the past. Yeah. Links awakening is the one on the Game Boy. Yes. Um, yeah, but link to the past you, is is fantastic. It, again, was, again, it's one of those isometric games, just like the uh, Gremlins. Oh, I loved, I loved it. I loved they the worked game. so well. They worked so well. Everything about it was brilliant. It was a long game. You had great music, great everything. Now, when they try and bring it out, they keep changing him. They make him young. They make him self shaded They make him all this. If the game looks good, personally, I would not buy it because I'm not the best Zelda fan to buy it. But it doesn't matter because you'll probably buy it and then share the shit out of it anyway. So. <laughs> It was. It's no point me doing it. So I'll probably see it one way or the other. Other games may look look a bit too. I don't know. Kind of. I mean, gimmicky. Right, I'm, I don't know. I mean, Nintendo won't release what it's running off. But the release line. I mean, Breath of the Wild looks stunning. Bomberman. Now come on. It's something the NES. They had Bomberman on the NES. They had it on the SNES. They had it on the N64. They had it on the GameCube. I mean, what what limits are they pushing there? There's no power. It's not really pushing the, the console graphically I mean, or even any, anything. It's not pushing it to anything. It's bringing the game out again because it's number of games to bring out. Because that was bringing it on the SNES, obviously top down again, which I remember. Yeah, I mean, the try, I think they're trying to vary it, but there's, uh, on, the, on the lineup, the launch, You've got one two switch, which is a party game. Yeah. Bomberman, a party game. You can't you can't it's not a game you want to play on your own. It's not a, a, a must have title when you go out and buy the console. But, but you've got to have for a launch night new console like this, you need to have games that people want to buy it. Not just Nintendo lovers. You have to forget the fanboys. Yeah, we're all fanboys out here. Uh, we're talking about games that I oh I want to play that, but it's only on that console, and it's not Nintendo. Then, I mean the other one. I mean the launch like you've got one, two, Switch, Bomberman, Breath of the Wild, um, Just Dance. 
another re same again, isn't it? It's the same. But same. The, the one other title, I can't remember what the fifth title is on launch. But when you look at those in respect, you think there's only one of them that stands out. The rest okay. of them are just to me. They're just shovelware. They're, they're not, you know, A grade titles. They're but, substandard. They're yes. very substandard. But in the day, when you bring new consoles out, and you only need one game. It's from going through the years of it. PlayStation Ridge Racer, that is still awesome, brilliant conversion. Ah, to this day, I can't remember looking at it and going, this is RK perfect. Yeah, it was obviously a yeah, few, but just look at it, brilliant. Especially the startup, everything worked brilliant. The same with Xbox, you probably had Halo. It, these are all different ones that come out, spring to mind, but let's go off topic slightly. Um, on the game front itself. <laughs> Louise is a green, Louise is a green. So yes, where's the it is. <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think we. Uh, Louise, obviously, it is kind of obviously we're getting debating and obviously we're forgetting that Louise has a great opinions as well. She knows yeah. a hell of a lot of different games, um, which you should not um, listen for. She knows a lot of stuff. Um, what I don't know, she knows. So. I, I agree with you, Mark, because I think the the good thing about Mario sixty four was was that the camera would turn itself around and you suddenly went from 2D to 3D. It was absolutely amazing. I, re I really liked that. And, you know, yes, we are Sega fans, but yes, we do still love stuff about Nintendo. And I think that's... I it's like, I mean, they, tr so they tried doing it with the, uh, Sonic and it didn't work. Yeah. The camera, the camera, uh, the programming for the camera just, it just messed up. It was all wrong. Oh, yes. Sonic Adventures, for instance, when they did the main levels, it was brilliant. The, I mean, yeah, I mean, it looked, yeah. it looked visual, visually, it was stunning. I mean, especially the, the part that sticks in my head when you're running away from the killer whale. That is, that's one of the best levels, I agree. Yeah. 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 After that, well. after that, it just went whoosh, gone. It, it had a lot of flaws. I, really hated, I did not want to collect all the cheeblies. That was just. No, uh, no, no. 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 No time for that. Just want to get on with the levels. All this, because once you've collected them, they were on the VMU, and you just carried on playing it. It's like, no, 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 that's enough. No, I agree with you. Definitely agree with you I on that front. It really work, but, but but yeah, it didn't really work with Sonic. You know, um, it, it sort of worked with a bit with Sonic 3D, but you know, mm -hmm. I agree that the Mario was still better. Yeah, well, that show of a doubt, it is an epic game and it's still cool. But it doesn't justify people charging silly amounts of money in certain game shops, which I won't mention, I don't need plug-in. They think it's justified to charge £45 or £50 because it's retro. Now, are you taking the Michael? I won't swear. Are you because... talking about the Mario game? <laughs> oh, yes. How did you guess? That Instagram, that's ridiculous. In, in my local, <laughs> your local, don't even give it any pleasure because it doesn't. No, need in my local store of this company, you know, of this uh, franchise or whatever brand, whatever you want to call it, this store, it is eight pound. This particular game, this Mario game, is eight pound in the store where I shop. So please tell me why it's forty. Um, I think Bye. some. I think somebody decided to think it was a good idea because it's got Mary on it just to charge silly amounts of money. Now, as I put on my Instagram post, yeah. in comparison, in comparison, uh, the um, Majora's Mask, the copy I got the other week, yeah, it was. Yeah. I wouldn't say it was mint in the box, but it's it's really good box. Uh, everything's complete. Instructions. That was forty five pounds. It's quite a sought after game nowadays especially in pal to get it on a gold cartridge was it mario gold cartridge? yeah we had we had one of them but yeah we, it wasn't in the box was it and we paid ours was worth like 25 30 pounds out yeah. of for a loose cat so it's quite it's still quite a pricey game it's not cheap hmm. um wow. but to get but to get a loose cat of mario on the nez a loose cat for 40 quid no nah. I know I wouldn't even pay anything that for Mega Drive or Mega CD or any of the same. Talking about Mega CD, for instance, just on there, because that, that is enough epic console for its time. I still love it. I went into another I particular... Still want one. 
Oh, I, I, I want my so badly. Um, we were going to the particular shop, and I won't name names, but we go to the particular shop. They were selling a Mega CD once. You got free with the Mega CD, if I remember right. It was a pack of them. Now, this had was mistreated like you wouldn't believe. This like it has been used and abused. Now, it's got the back cover missing. The cover and front's all cracked and everything else. You can still make it. It's in a box. Just loved. Now, they wanted £25 for this particular version. And I nearly fell over. I thought they had a misprint. But no, they said because it's retro, they thought it was worth that money because it's hard to find. All right. So they just they just plucked this figure out of their head. Yes. Yeah, I think. I think this particular machine didn't have. It was the one that was it a Mark II model or yeah. on the, on the, the one on the side, the, the one that you put on the side. It sat on top of the Mega Drive and it didn't have the adapter plate on it, which made it even more like. Ah, okay. the <clears throat> yes, but right. this right? is yes. Yeah, so you, you you did have this right on on the Mega Mega CD. You had two versions, loads of versions. Obviously, if you didn't have the plate and things like this, the, that shops the child the charge silly amounts of money because. Um, they think it demeans that cost. Why? I don't know. Because it, it ruins the people that actually want to collect the things, the genuine people. I'm not saying everybody's like it, but people don't have money to grow on trees. Um, they need, nope. you need, to, if you want to collect your, you want to collect that particular thing for a reason. And you don't get penalised, especially down here in the South, um, for something that's, you're not really going to play 24-7. You're just going to probably collect this in your shelf and then talk about it. Um, and you don't want to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't play about... games. We don't play games. We're just, like, collecting them. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, we don't but play games. We're just, we're, just play. we're just dust catches. Yes. A lot of it is just dust catching, but it's the memories yeah. more than... And I yeah. love the art and more of the games than the actual yeah. games. Um, but the idea, the concept of it, charging 50 quid for one game when you can buy, buy the next generation one, probably get more, for this, for nostalgia, is a complete uh, joke. Um, but it's, it's another, uh, another bloody um, kick of the teeth really to some serious collectors. That's why Instagram lately is fantastic for memories and different things like that because everybody shares their love. if they don't steal your photographs. Yes, that is definitely yeah. a bad, bad call. Whoever, um, whoever steals photos, I understand you want to do it, go for it, do it. But please tag them in the tag them in the post. Don't say yeah, two exactly. seconds. That's, it. a... That's all it takes. Just tag that person. Done. Done. Even if you, you don't, it makes it obvious, just do it. But at the end of the day, if you need that picture to get a million likes, to do it because you're obviously not that passionate about that particular item. You're more concerned about, I want to have a thousand likes for it. I am popular. Me. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never been that way. I would like Push to have like. Yeah. yeah. I would like me, like me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's kind of quite amazing really how people do these sort of things nowadays but end of the day we're in a fickle world so we just have to get on with it and hope the best and there's many cool people out of it out with we've, we've actually met that are this awesome and that this gaming that there's everything about game that there's love so so on further ado, I'm not where we were. I don't know. I you think know. we go uh, on topic what? yet again. I said Mario. I said Mario sixty four, yeah. and I think we kind of did we lose it there. Okay, then I can we go? I think we just go back and so let's talk about my last game. Um, did Louise, did, Louise, you didn't do your last game, did you? No, but that's okay. You can jump in. I again, I again. I would. I won't butt in. I do apologise on this one. Because we get sidetracked, I will leave you to do your last game now. So um, go for it. <laughs> oh, whichever I, way you are. I, I was never fortunate enough to have a Saturn or a CD, so I didn't play many games on there. But um, one of the games I did play on a Sega Saturn was, and one of my favourites, and it's still a favourite of many people, Pins of Dragoon Saga. 
but I did like it. Um, so, you know, I've always been a fan of Space Harrier and uh, uh, what was it, uh, after, you know, several like shooting games on the Mega Drive and Master System, you know, those kind of scrolling shooting games. And, and I'm a big fan of Dragons, so Panzer Dragoon, I liked. Uh, again, it was, you know, good for its time, unique. Um, her, you know, great storylines, has a great following, fan following. It was like a rail shooter, wasn't it? It was more like a... Yeah. It was, it was a rail shooter, I agree with yeah. you. It's a bit like Star Fox, then. It's, it's... It is, yeah. It has the yeah. concept. You go around, you avoid obstacles, you shoot things. Um, it, you know, has, it, again, it's like many games now, huge price to get a copy on the yeah. Saturn. In but if you get a hold, if you get hold of a an, an Xbox copy... Uh, you can probably get it for about a fiver. The problem yeah, is, I had the I had the saga on you know the game on the Xbox as well. I like that as well. Um, frustrating, hard in parts. It always has been Penzu Green Saga, but you know. The problem with if you if you're a fan of the franchise and you love it for what it is, you keep playing it no matter how hard it is. So. <clears> my the problem with it. we've got with playing on other consoles that have been re-released. The problem you do not get the nostalgia value, obviously, no, 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 no. for what you want to do it in the first place because obviously what we got if you play that on a Saturn you've got the nice boot up you've got the hands in your hand it's it, you can feel epic then let's put it on the Xbox or the Xbox One it's good but it's not going to give you the same experience that you had which you play in the first place so you're not getting that same you're not getting that same experience you're not getting the same memories obviously Louise has played many good cool games obviously that you played on the different consoles and different things uh, when you obviously you got the obviously your cartridges, for instance, so uh, they may be good Hello. on old, yeah, on on the newer consoles, but they're not gonna have the same Works. love. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Yes. You blow the cartridge, it works. You get a scratch, yeah. it's buggered. You get a scratch yeah. on a disc, it's buggered. Yeah, this is where it's brilliant. Obviously, oh, cartridges. It's just, it's it. you know. Yeah. This, even though, even though, if you read on the cartridges, it tells you not to do it. Not to blow but, on it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Particularly so we all do it. Ones. So we all do it. See, this is the problem. You see, this is where we, where you lose some of the nostalgia and love the love for it. Because obviously, collecting the box, doing the game, and um, putting it in the car, in the console, listening it to load up, all the different things. If you lose different things, so power. Uh, if I pronounce this word, how you pronounce this game again? What Penza was the Dragoon. Panzer Nagoon? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Penza okay. Dragoon. Panzer no Panzer Dragoon. Penza. Panzer Dragoon. Yes. Yeah, sorry, you have to forgive me. I think yeah. it's Panzer, isn't it? Panzer. Yeah. Anyway, they did bring it on the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I can't pronounce PD. it. Anyway. PD. Just call it PD. Yeah. PD. Yes. Yeah. Saga. Yeah. yeah. PD Saga, but that yeah, particular game. Copy as well. <laughs> I think we remember getting a demo of that version um, on when you used to have demo discs on, on magazines. I think, yeah. and that was it. Was a very cool little and game. Again, you've hit on a you've hit on a nostalgia thing there. They don't put discs on covers of magazines anymore. No. That's a shame. They've and stopped you, it. And you only get the demos by doing that, didn't you? So. And you, because you know, obviously, the days where you used to, you used to pre-own, you pre-order a game or get a Japanese game just to get the demo. You know. No, yes, we did that many times. So. I think we did that. I remember queuing up for um, uh, Resident Evil Two, buying Resident Evil Two, uh, Japanese version, and then getting the, the the demo version of Code Veronica, and you know, pre-orders and stuff like that on the Dreamcast and. Yeah, and we did that for US version as well. We've collected, we've done that with Shame You. We went to a particular shop. This is not there anymore. I think that was up in London somewhere or Rumford, if I remember rightly. We used to queue up just to get these import games. It cost more money, obviously. Um, but we been there. Been yeah, there. done all this. We've done this with obviously different things like the Connect. We did a midnight open with Game Station. I know it didn't do very well, but we still thought it was pretty cool. We did all that. That was brilliant fun. Uh, there's just certain things that it's not just getting a game because nowadays it's just a game and go home again or pre it was a whole experience you did the whole not this game I think it was more 
I don't know if you do it in other countries, but in the UK, they get a bit limited. Oh, we haven't been not open. All you do is just give in and get your game and go home again. I know you we want to play. Yeah, it's, 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 that's what they do. Before, you had an event, so you had different things. There were, when they had bought a new console out, especially years ago, Sega and all the rest of it, they had launch parties and different things like this. They had, like, I did it really bad with the Gizmondo, as I said before. They had a we'll launch party. We'll let's talk that. about that because that was a shocking, <laughs> shocking bit of kit. But yeah, for the launch party. Let's, let's no. <laughs> keep on topic. Keep on topic. But keep on talking. No. But yeah, different things. Um, so. <laughs> On, on that front on there, um, that particular game was pretty cool. I liked the different, it was simple, but it had some, it had a good story to it as well, a nice little story to it. And there's a good graphics, different things, but. Yeah, and, I'm going to say the graphics for the time were good. Um, yeah. I mean, you, it, was, it was just, it was a simple shooter. It was just a rail, simple rail shooter, uh, but it worked really well. It worked really well. So let's. Um, so What's your last favourite? My last favourite is going to be on the Dreamcast. <coughs> okay. That's still my favourite games console to this day. As I say, we have many games that's on the Dreamcast <laughs> that we like. Like we had the Daytona version. Shame you is still, I think, a epic, epic game. Um, never owned it. I have never owned it. Sh never I, owned it, never played it. Shame you, you never you played, played shame. it. Oh, no. God. Oh, oh dear. Definitive. It was. was. Graphically, graphically, it was amazing. And, and it had, you know, you could go in an arcade and play actual arcade games. It was amazing. So It was cool. It was brilliant how you did it. For the time, I believe it was one of the most expensive games ever made. Yes, it was. I can't remember how much it cost, but it was a lot yeah. of money. And they spent a lot of money. But you can see in the game, you can see it was the, I remember uh, watching the intros over and over again, the little clips before even the game came out in Japan, because I yeah. loved it. I loved the start of the music. I love the story at the back. It's the story of was he's avenging his father's death, yeah, which you should see the start of it if you haven't all these things. Um, you know, I'm sorry to spoil it, but he goes in there and he, his father's death is avenging, and obviously it's going over a certain series, um, but. The, he's on a little quest, so it's like a three D quest. What he does, and this guy is in there, and everything is really well done. You can go to sleep. You had your room. You had all different things you need to find. The music was really cool. You, you even had the little. Was there a little? I don't know if it was a satin in the cupboard. You used to have yes. the cupboard up, and there was you little had this satin little there. satin that you could open the drawers, and your and a Japanese satin was in the cupboard. They animated that. It was it was brilliant how they did it. Um, and then you go through the seasons, and the snow would come down. You just had all the different, it was like an own world, had I've done this. And you're obviously talking to different people. You did have the, the cheesy QTE sections in some of them, I suppose at number two. But number one is fantastic, and I love to see the story progress. But obviously it's going to be in the PlayStation 4 and the PC, and hopefully they bring it out one day. Um, for the Switch, maybe? For the Switch? Mm, mm, if they want to bring it out the magic... It will, uh, will fit on a cartridge. On the Xbox. I'd, rather, I'd like to be on oh, the Xbox yeah. one. Um, I reckon they're going to put it in the PlayStation 4 for some strange reason. Really? Why? Why? You bought out the others on the Xbox. I don't understand it. it, it it's PC, I understand it going to have now because it's a different format altogether. But on the... On the Franchise, Shame You is still an epic game. And as you talk about games, how much they are, certain games for Shame You are quite expensive to buy. Mm -hmm. um, to buy, you know, just to get a good one. Anyway, number two is definitely. But the artwork, the character interaction, the music, the cutscenes, mm -hmm. everything about the game was immense. And I got the Japanese version, which I couldn't understand a word it said. Then, because you had to guess what it meant and what you. Yep, yeah, I loved it. I really loved it, and I thought it was 
a brilliant, brilliant game. <laughs> and I love did, get... did you ever finish it? Did you ever finish it? I think I remember finishing. Yeah. Yeah. It was it's come back to my memory what it was, but we finished it and it's waiting ages for the second one to come. And then I can't remember what happened in the second one, but I remember we used to we must be ages just doing the forklift lorries. Because you could drive forklift lorries properly, like <laughs> yeah. it was on there forever. The level where you, you have to work at the docks and you're in a forklift truck and you have to like every day you have to move all these pallets. And so you'd go and you get in your forklift truck and you'd have to drive the forklift truck around and drop the pallet off and pick another one up and put yeah. it back. But because he had to earn a living in order to get information. Uh, that's a, good, that's a, a clever also, concept. Also, nice little touches in it. Correct me if I'm wrong as well. But they were one of the that game was one of the pioneers of the QTE system, which is now regularly used and overused in modern day gaming. It, it has been used. I it agrees one of them on it, but it has been used on other Sega games in the past. Yeah, with with obviously. Yeah, it was. It the problem with that is now it's re, it's really tedious and it sort of they had to put it on there to change it. It's very tedious and it's sort of like oh, I'll go after the QCE again, press A, press B. I suppose this they, they change up a little bit, but the the icon, it, the way they've done on a gaming market, the way they've done it, the ideas and everything else on that console was brilliant, and I don't think. That will work anywhere else on any other console than the Dreamcast with that because you had the passion, obviously, because it was made by Sega and all the rest of it. You didn't have a third party in, in like interfering with it and everything else. So it worked very well. But there is many other games that Shame You is still one of my favorite games to date or now. Um, as I said, we said earlier, Semi Amigo is a fun party game and obviously there's loads of other ones but you have to enjoy it's one of the only things you have to experience it it is an enjoyable enjoying oh, game it's experience, all right. it is but you can't <laughs> knock it for that because it, it, it it's such a brilliant little game and many of our followers on instagram obviously post it and agree it is one of them games so that you, <laughs> you have to it's enjoy the poses you have to do the poses and you go, but they've copied that now in Just Dance and Lips and all these other ones have copied it. Yeah, but as a as a cool little game, obviously, we had lots of arcade conversions. We had like Zombies Revenge, that was another one that was quite it was simple, but it was good fun. It was great fun to play. Oh, man, oh, yeah, that Power Stone. Power Stone. Oh, Power, oh. Power Stone. What, what a, a brilliant, game. What a brilliant game. We, we no. need a new one. We need a new Power Stone. Oh, I'd love to have a new Power Stone. I'd love to have mm. a new Power Stone. Very it good. would be epic, the words would be, because when you first play do that... We want oh, to see, do we want to see another Echo of the Dolphin, though? Hmm? No. I think that franchise has gone as far as it can. I think it's uh, dead in the S. It was great then, but I not quite. Like Echo, but, you know, even I think enough is enough. So. Yes, I think it's dead. In... There's like some franchises shouldn't be even back. I hear they're obviously bringing Toe Joe's Toe. Toe Jam and Earl. Thank you. Yep. Um, they're bringing the obviously version back, but don't I don't know. It's gonna that was on kick, that's been a Kickstarter for a while, yeah. that. So I think, mm. I think that's I where... I don't think it had the same kind of impact as it did when I first played it on the Mega Drive. So I was glad to see when they brought um, it was Oddworld when they rebooted Oddworld. Oddworld was very good, especially when the first. Yeah, with, I mean, it was nice to see that back on this generation of console. Well, so we used to blame it at worst. Hello, Abe, One of and my favorites. Absolutely. yes, hello, well, and there was all the little sayings you used to do. It was, hello, hello, hello. 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 Hi, yes, all these really brilliant little things. Hey, hey, hey. But it's, <laughs> I think it's like everything else, isn't it? Uh, I'd love to see some arcade classics that are out in the arcades now. I'd love to see them on some mm. consoles. Um, the Lost World, the new one, the Lost World, or even the old one, would be brilliant. Jurassic Park, yes, definitely Jurassic Park. Yeah. What did you say, Lou? Yeah. 
the old arcade Lost World machine. Yeah, that was so brilliant. That's so brilliant. Um, obviously, and obviously we're going to have Daytona Free in the arcade, which it's I don't know if it will be the same, but I'm great, great, good hopes for it. You know, I want it to be good, but I, I might be disappointed. But I'm hoping I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, mm. I want it to be good, but mm. will it be good? Um, I, what I you think do? It's like, how many times can you bring out a time crisis? I mean, I loved Time Crisis too back in the day. You know, on the arcade and and on the so, PlayStation. Again, but... you just you just hit on you yeah. hit on something there. How many times? Point blank. Yeah. Point blank. Point blank. Point blank. Point blank. Point yes, yeah. we're not point blank. I thought it's good, but it's the same principle. It's the same. It's just a different. The problem yeah. we got in the games, a lot of them are the same, aren't they? Yeah. The same game as the counterparts. <clears throat> different. But have you seen the price of point blank this in this day and age? Point blank for a, a decent copy, you're talking between forty and fifty pounds. Yes. This is and the, the second one, the second one, point blank two, you're talking double between 70 and 80, I'm some, nearly 100. I don't understand why you need to pay that kind of money for a particular game. So no games are, are justify that kind of money. But yeah. as we said, to a collector, then there may be, this is the hobby that people like to do. Well, I am very select of, obviously, what I want to collect on certain things I do. Um, because there's no point in collecting hundred different things just to go. Oh look, I've got all these consoles. Yeah, it's great to play them, but you can't play them all at once, can you? Yeah, um, you can't. Oh, so what? I played my Mega Drive, my SNES, my CDI, you know, 3 do You're gonna have so much room and money, obviously. Laser vision, laser vision. Don't forget that one. No, don't forget laser vision. Laser, <laughs> laser. What? What was it called? Laser vision. Laser vision. Laser vision. Oh, no, I that, that's know. as bad as the CDI. As in each yes. I, I, I like the CDI, but lots of people didn't. You know, it came, it go, it went. It wasn't What's designed to be a games machine. That's why. No. no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. But as I still say, burn cycle. It was a multi format entertainment system. Yes, <clears> it was. Ooh, that's yeah. very posh. He's trying to be very posh. Thank you. Well, I thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, to just round things up, I'd like to thank the people that were in this video today. Geek, so chic on Instagram, my lovely wife, and the Foster's Games Reviews. Obviously, you check them on YouTube and on Instagram of Louise Foster's 07. I'll put the links down below. Um, it's been an actual pleasure talking to these people. Um, obviously Mark um, and hope to do more in the future. So thanks for watching.